My name is Natalie Thibodeau, and my project is on Asher Duran's Kindred Spirits. This piece of art is located at Crystal Bridges Museum of Art in Bentonville, Arkansas, which is about a 30-minute drive from Fayetteville. Asher Duran painted Kindred Spirits in 1849. It is a painting of a beautiful landscape with two men standing on an edge looking outward. The men are Duran's friends Thomas Cole and William Cullen Bryant, who are both artists as well. The landscape is Duran's own depiction of the Catskill Mountains from memory. Duran was part of the artistic movement known as the Hudson River School, which consisted of artists like Thomas Cole and Frederick Edwin Church. They were based in New York City, and Cole is recognized as the founder of the movement. Duran grew up in New Jersey and made watches with his father before he began painting. He is well known for his portraits of American presidents, along with his landscape paintings. Duran traveled all over the world to learn more about art techniques. In London, he was very inspired by the natural outdoor beauty of the land and began to translate this into his paintings. He was inspired by the French and Dutch techniques as well. He was one of the earliest painters to work from outdoors. His romantic, naturalistic style of painting has inspired many movements following him. Kindred Spirits is a landscape painting. It has some elements of naturalism, although Durand did not paint the landscape exactly how he saw it. He used creative license in his own memories while painting it. One might say it is illusionistic. This means that it is so convincingly portrayed that it could be mistaken to be painted from an actual photograph. Color and detail are major aspects of this painting. There is an incredible amount of detail and a lot of different colors are used. Most of the colors are softer, more muted tones, which emphasizes the romantic aspect of the painting. There is also an illusion of depth as the painting it extends far beyond the men standing on the ledge. The methodology that seems to be used in Kindred Spirits is autobiography. This is because Durand used inspiration from things that influenced his life, such as his friends in the Hudson River School. He was directly influenced by the experiences he had, such as traveling Europe. His own interpretation of his experiences can be reflected in most of his paintings. This is true for his portraits as well. His own interpretations and perspectives can be found in these images. The Hudson River School was directly influenced by European predecessors. The romantic paintings that inspired Durand became popular in the 1600s in France and the Netherlands. This was revolutionary in art because it was a shift from painting characters and stories from the Bible. These early paintings were extremely large in scale and were painted realistically with great attention to detail. Light is also a very important aspect of these paintings. They usually depicted a time of day when the sun was out. This is a common theme throughout the paintings by artists such as Claude Rain and Jacob Van Rossdale. There are no narrative subjects, rather each painting is often a landscape with several subjects whose faces are usually not shown. There are minor characters in the painting and are very small and seem to only be there to show how large the landscape is in comparison. Again, the attention to detail is probably the most significant aspect of these paintings that was passed down to the Hudson River School artists. They were extremely inspired by this feature and painted all trees, flowers, and other parts of the landscape to scale and with extraordinary detail. Although the Hudson River School paintings were a step away from direct depictions of biblical characters and stories, they still were inspired by the divinity of God. The romantic aspects of the paintings and the vastness of the landscapes are meant to be a nod to the one who created such beauty. The Hudson River School artists were so inspired by this that they brought this style and technique back with them from Europe, and thus were able to create their own series of landscapes in the United States. Had they not learned from the French and the Dutch, American landscapes would have perhaps never been painted in this style. I chose this artwork because I was first introduced to the Hudson River School artists sophomore year of high school. I have traveled a lot in my life. In eighth grade, I lived in France for a year. I have visited all the largest museums in Europe and never had felt truly inspired by a painting, that is, until I saw Kindred Spirits at Crystal Bridges. I wanted to learn more about it and Durant's inspiration. It is incredibly lucky that we are able to see such inspirational artwork without leaving far from home.